So this year, not only did Deco Created put out their winter box, winter seasonal box, they did an add-on box. They did a Christmas add-on box. This Christmas box has been quite the controversy. Um, I think you only knew about it if you were part of their decorators community on Facebook. And there was a day a few weeks ago and it was like 10 o'clock at night and I just happened to be on Facebook and saw that the link to order the Christmas box got posted and I jumped on it and I woke up the next morning and found out that it sold out in like minutes and everybody was upset and I get it because I also would have been sad had I missed out on it. Um, so I feel very um, grateful that I was able to get this. Um, so, and I know a lot of you are probably interested in what was in here, if it's worth how much it costs, which we don't remember. Um, and uh, from what I hear or what I've seen so far, it sounds like they're gonna do a Christmas box again next year. So this will give you an idea of what's in the Christmas box add-on versus what's in the regular seasonal box. And we're gonna open both of them. So here's the envelope. It came with one just like a regular box does with the little book. Was that upside down? It probably was. And in here it tells you about all the products um, and gives you some really great like decorating tips but I'm not gonna look at that yet. There was no like art card, postcard in here. I don't think they're supposed to be, but um, just an FYI. I love the red, it's so festive. Let's see what we got here. Uh, full disclosure, I already know what's in here because I'm one of those people that just cannot help themselves and as soon as the spoilers come out, I have to look at them. But there's still excitement in actually receiving your box and actually seeing what's in it. Because when you see it in person, it's a whole different experience than seeing it online. So the first thing, let me get the crinkling over with, is a pillow cover. And I'm pretty happy with the quality on this one. I feel like it's a little nicer than the fall pillow covers were. I thought they weren't as nice as the old, the previous boxes. But it is a red and, I don't know, it's almost like, it's a bluish green. Like it would pass, it would probably pass for green before it would pass for blue on there. Um, but super cute. I say everything is super cute, but it is. Let's see what else we got. Then go create an unboxing tip. Bring a box cutter. Because there's lots of boxes. All right, this is a box sign. Oh, this is so cute. What's got a little hanger? So on this side, it says, Merry Christmas. And then on the other side, it says be joyful, which I love that they do these two-sided signs because you can obviously keep this one up to Christmas and then this one will take you, really, I mean, you could keep this out all winter. And it matches the pillow cover, coordinating, like seriously, can't go wrong. All right, we've got an empty box. And seriously, even though I look up what's in these boxes beforehand, I tend to forget. Because, like, I don't remember what's in here. Okay. Oh, I know what this is now. These are letters. Oh, these are really nice. They're really thick and they are painted, but they're like distressed on the edges too. So we have N, 
I don't know that you're gonna see these. Nope. Oh, and then the O is like a wreath. And E. And L. So obviously that spells Noel. Let me see if I can hold these up all together to show you. And again, let's just matchy matchy. So cute. And I love that this, the colors aren't like super bright. Like it's not super bright red, it's a little toned down. This green is like just a beautiful, like sagey green. Oh. Okay, one more box for this Christmas box and then we're done with that one. And I do remember what this is. I think it is a very clever idea. like a decorative box like crate it's wood it's got these metal accents on the side and then it's got these metal hooks on the front and so I think what like the idea is is you put this on your mantle you can put stuff in it greenery or any kind of decoration and then you can hang like your stockings uh, from these little hooks which I think is so stinking cute this is pretty good size too it's a lot um, wider than I expected it to be So we've got that, got our little pillow cover, a little sign, our little letters, why is everything a little? And that is everything that came in the Christmas add on box. All right, so now let's open the winter box. So this is the winter seasonal box, which I don't know if it's, I think it's still available. Um, or you got it, obviously, if you're like an annual subscriber, which I am, highly recommend, because then you get a decoration refresh every season. Again, here's our envelope. My sticker's a little torn, that's okay. Again, we've got our little book with all our spoilers in it, and then here's our little art card for this one. So we've got Christmas on this side, and then um, some winter phrases on that side. Hopefully you can see that. Love putting those in the picture frame that they give you. Um, I believe it's still the welcome gift. So new subscribers get um, like a wood and burlap picture frame with a little clip hook in it. And then you can put those little art cards in. All right, so many boxes. Let's see what we got here. All right. What's nice too about doing the winter and the Christmas box is that the winter box could be more wintry and take you through, you know, a little longer than just being Christmas. So this is a box sign. You've got the little hat on the front there, which says warm and comfy. Yeah, warm and comfy. And then on the back it says there may be no thing greater than a life well loved. So there's the back. So again, versatile. And honestly, this, you can keep this that all year. That's not seasonal at all. Next box. All these little boxes always crack me up. This is such a unique unboxing experience than most subscription boxes. Cause you know, they usually just throw everything in there with a bunch of that paper confetti stuff that goes everywhere. Whereas this, you have individually wrapped or individually packaged little boxes, which makes sense because you don't want this stuff like buffing up together and getting damaged or anything like that. So this is a galvanized metal envelope, envelope holder situation. 
super cute really nice quality like that's really nice thick metal um, it's got some like wall hanging hooks on the back so you can hang that up on your wall you may even be able to like you could probably string a string through it and hang it that way or even maybe hang it from the middle here the mailbox is always like a Christmasy thing right because it's like letters to Santa but again this is something especially in like a more rustic -y farmhouse you can use this all the time keep your mail in keep your I saw some people posted some pictures, like um, one lady put it next to her sink with some dish towels in it. Genius. People are geniuses. I think I'll definitely do something with it for Christmas. Maybe put some greenery in it or something. Or I could put my Hogwarts letter in it. Ah! Nerd alert. All right. Hold on for more crinkling. So here we have another pillow cover. This one's got little sweaters on it, little like kind of ugly sweaters, which is so cute these days. And says get cozy with it, fa la la la. So super adorable. It's solid red on the back. It's got like a, a kind of a, I'd say it's more gold than green trim around it. And like as you can see here, so it coordinates obviously with everything that's in this box. But it will also coordinate with, as they fall over, the Christmas box as well. So that is exciting. Can't wait to get my new pillow covers on my couch. Ooh. There's some big boxes in here. Okay, well that felt bigger than it was. I need some music or something. Maybe I'll give you some background music so I don't just seem like I'm dancing to nothing. <laughs> hey, we've got some, oh, okay, for real. These might be the thing I am maybe the most excited for in this box. These are so on trend and are so my colors and they're covered in styrofoam. Look at these, OMG guys. On camera, it's coming out a lot lighter. It's a much more dark, kind of tealy, oceany blue. But that's the big one. Wait for it. And there's the little one. Again, coming out a little lighter on camera than it is in real life. And, of course, in decorating, you always want to do things styrofoam snow. You always want to do everything in three. So there's the third one. And it's a very, very faint, kind of light bluish gray. So here, I'll try to show them to you all together here. Look at, look at the little tree family. Look how stinking cute those are. Those are not inexpensive because I don't have any. And it's probably because I thought they were too expensive. <laughs> Otherwise I would have bought them. Although last year I was completely obsessed with um, bottle brush trees, which not that this year is any different, but I bought a bunch of those last year. That was kind of what I did. All right. Oh, this is so soft and such a pretty green. Here, I'm looking at it, not even showing you. Looky, looky. It is a throw blanket and it's tied up all cute here. I don't want to undo it yet. But again, super coordinating, goes with that, goes with the trees, all in this kind of like bluish, mossy green kind of color with some red accents. Just, just can't, can't even, it's just so cute. It's just so cute. And I appreciate the variety, you know, like it's not a bunch of signs, it's not a bunch of knickknacks, you know, you get, ugh. We got the trees, we got the pillow cover, we got a throw, we got the envelope. And we're not even done yet. And the nice thing is, is you can put this stuff like all in the same room, because it all coordinates. Or you can spread it out across your whole house and then your whole house coordinates. You can mix it in with the decor you already have, which is what I'll be doing, of course. 
So these are little wood, oh, they're not tied together, tags. So you've got one here that's got a snowflake on it. There's joy and peace. And this one's got a little present on it. So they've got like a little um, twine tie on them and they're not like tied in a knot. So you could put these on like a gift box or so I've seen some people like um, tied a knot and hung them on their tree. They'll just be cute sitting on like a tiered tray because we know we're all obsessed with those right now too. Okay, last box. And I know I remember what's in here because I'm really excited about this item too. Uh oh, shiftage. The mountain behind me is shifting. Seriously, the quality of this stuff is amazing. Like, this is heavy. Look how cute this tray is. Look at that pattern on there. Like, I die, seriously. And it's got these metal handles on the side. So stinking cute. And here, let's just put, let's put our little display together. We're doing it. We're gonna put our little trees. And we'll put our little tags. I have to pick this up without dropping it or breaking anything. Pray for me here. Guys, it's all it takes. They make it so easy. They give you all this cute stuff and all you have to do is put it together. Like, I love to decorate and I appreciate this immensely. Oh, it's bubbling. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I can't wait to do I can't wait to decorate. I'm so bad. This is all I have done. I have my tree up. I at least forced myself to get that done. I still have fall stuff um, everywhere else, but you can't see that. <laughs> uh, but now that I have this stuff, I'm definitely gonna get decorating. I gotta get the rest of the boxes out of my basement. And I better chop chop, because it's like, what, the fourth? I'm gonna go do that now.